break? Do you have your tea ready? Now, as a lover of YA, I am used to reading about romance. As a teenager reading YA, I was always waiting for my love story to come along. It never did. But now I look back at it, I realise that that significant life event I was waiting for had already happened when I met my best friends. The main character of Beautiful Broken Things is in a similar predicament, but instead, new girl Suzanne moves into town and she gets a very different kind of story. I love this book because it's really, at its core, a book about how it's not the loves and the relationships that break your heart as a teenager, it's your friends. It's this amazing tribute to the friendships that bind you together as a teenager, when you're still learning about life and yourself whenever that ends. <laughs> now, thinking about what I was gonna show you guys on the channel, I had a few revelations. Beautiful Broken Things is set in Brighton. The wonderful author, Sarah, lives in Brighton. The first My Colour Book Club live event was gonna happen in Brighton with Sarah. There was only one logical conclusion. I should take you guys to Brighton. Here we go. <laughs> Sarah, what song is playing? Simply the best. What are we? The simply best? the best. <laughs> just simply. You set the book in Brighton. I did. Didn't you? I did. So we didn't just. I didn't just drag you here for ice cream and laugh. No, though, that would be okay. Yes. That would be acceptable. Why did you choose to set the book in Brighton? Because Brighton is a very lovely place. Um, it should be in more YA books, I think, that are set in the UK. Why do they all have to be in London? Yeah. It's just you and Zoella representing at the exactly. moment. I know, exactly. <laughs> like, and Brighton has a beach, it has a pier, it has a pavilion. There's a lot going on. It seems yeah. like a great place for a while. Less cliches. Less more, cliches, more, more beaches. More great venues. <laughs> It's a dangerous animal in wild. <laughs> so they they spend a lot of time wandering up and down the pier, don't they? They, they do. always talk about it. It's they one do of the talk places. About it, yeah. um, and do you see a lot of teenagers up and down here? Yes. It's a great place to hang around. It it's is. not a thing to do. Yeah, it's and there's, really an like... there's an arcade as well. <laughs> if you've got no aims and no girls and nowhere to be, like it's amazing. It is. in Brighton. Do you spend yes. a lot of time on the beach? I do. The Even beach. when it's cold? Especially when it's cold, because there are less people when it's cold. Yeah, you've got a fairy hood, you're fine. <laughs> She's equipped for it. Without spoilers, you set little parts of the book it's on very, the beach. Very, very small bits. <laughs> yeah, there Looking are some quite important moments that happen on the beach. Did you ever come to the beach to write? No, I didn't. <laughs> Maybe I should it's have It's good done. to do it in retrospect, yes. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I would, no, I wish I had now, but no, I didn't. But it's a, it's a very peaceful place that I think characters can have moments on their own. Yeah. In as well, isn't it? Rather yes. than being around other people. Yeah. I and mean, we can see a lot of people in the background. Everyone's kind of like, there's lots of groups, there's lots of people on their own as well. It's yes. one of those kind of places. It's a place you can go with people and you can be by yourself. It's nice. It's peaceful. It's peaceful. So, as a native of Brighton, Sarah, what does this monument mean? I don't actually know. I think it's a donut. <laughs> do you come here to think about symmetry? I do. <laughs> I wouldn't. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's a monument to the donuts they sell on the pier. Yeah, if you can't reinvent the real, <laughs> we'll reinvent the donuts. Yeah. I'm leading you down the lanes. It looks wandering, wandering lanes. A lot more like Diagon Alley. It does. Than I was thinking. Part of it. I think that's where Diagon Alley came <gasps> from. Can we get a cloak and a wand? <laughs> we can try. <laughs> Shakeaways, which Sarah has introduced me to, and I got a Toblerone shakeaway, which is mentioned on the first page of the book. And then we had to explain to the man why we were there, didn't we? Yeah. We're very confused. <laughs> Thank you.
Then we were off to Brighton Waterstones for the very first My Kind of Book Club. Sarah read from the book, we all had a chat about the themes and we got to meet some of you guys, which is really exciting. Beautiful Broken Things is out now. So if you'd like a trip to Brighton, it's only a bookshop away. <laughs> Oh no! Like they live in Brighton, they know what vlogging is. It's part of their heritage. We have one. Yeah, yeah. We'll shout you out. Subscribe. <laughs>